Hi friends, welcome back to Sheena's Homestead. If you're new here, I'm Sheena and this is my homestead. Today we are going to make a strawberry cake together. So today we're going to be working with our KitchenAid mixer and we're going to start with our wet ingredients. So first things first, I have two duck eggs. Uh, chicken eggs are just fine, but if you can find duck eggs, they are very decadent and they make your baked goods taste really great. Second, we're going to put in some olive oil. Our vanilla. And our sugar. And we are going to just whip that up. incorporated and now we are going to add first our salt and then our sour cream. And I want to mix that up really well too. mixture. Now we are going to incorporate our dry ingredients. So I'm putting the baking soda into the bowl with our flour, just giving it a little mix and adding half at a time. Perfect. Now this part is completely optional and not part of the original recipe, but I have a lemon. Actually, I have a bag of lemons in the refrigerator, um, so I want to get this used up. I'm going to put a little bit of lemon zest into our cake. I'm just going to use one of the bowls that we used previously and get a little bit of that in there. as you can tell this is a very versatile cake you can do whatever you like if you'd rather use blueberries instead of strawberries you can do that if you'd rather put both in you can do that as well this is a very fun and versatile summer cake you can use whatever is in season whatever is on sale okay so now it's time to get our cake batter into our pan you can use whatever pan you like. If you'd rather do a square pan, like a nine by nine, that would work just fine. Today I'm going to use a pie dish because I like how it's round and I think that it'll be super pretty to serve in and so that's what I'm going with today. So just make sure that you spray your pan. I am using organic uh, coconut oil spray. This will brown the cake a lot more than other sprays do but it's a healthier option, so I don't mind that that will happen.
All right, we're all ready for the oven. I've got it preheated for 375 degrees and we're gonna put this cake in for 50 minutes. All right, so while the cake is in the oven, let's chop up some more of our strawberries. Next up is our whipped cream. This is such a nice touch and I think it always impresses people when you have homemade fresh whipped cream. And it's really easy to do, so I pretty much always keep a container of heavy whipping cream around. It, it'll last quite a while. The date on this is July 7th and we just hit June. So it's a great thing to have on hand in the summer. And we're gonna put our whisk attachment on. And we're going to add about two cups you want to make sure that your whipping cream is really cold so that it whips up nice i'm going to get some vanilla we're going to put in our vanilla about two teaspoons we're going to get that started. After your cream's been whipping for just a couple minutes, put in a tablespoon of sugar and then let that whip for about five minutes. Okay, we're ready. beautiful and my kitchen smells like absolute heaven right now. I wish you were here friends. I wish you could smell too and I wish I could give you a piece. This is going to be an amazing cake. Now the smell is just incredible. I guarantee you a kid or two is going to find their way to the kitchen really soon. But We just have to let it cool down first before we can serve it. So let's try to keep it a secret. <laughs> Oh, look at that. Here we are. We've got our cake, our strawberries, our whipped cream. Nothing says summer like a dessert that looks like this. Now for the final touches. Well, I told you a little helper would pop up if she smelled <laughs> cake. <laughs> and here she is. She's ready for the taste test. So, we've got our powdered sugar on top of our cake. It looks beautiful. It looks homemade. And it is. It's from scratch. So, it's made with tons of love. And here we are. We're ready to taste test. It's still a little warm, but we can't wait any longer, right, Will? Who <laughs> knows? It's so pretty. <laughs> it looks delicious. All right, are you ready? <laughs> yes. Oh my goodness, look at that. <laughs> Liliana and I are going to split this piece, so. I'm going to put a little on my plate, and then we're going to dress it up, okay? Okay. Let's put on a dollop of our fresh whipped cream. <laughs> <laughs> it's perfect. And then a couple extra strawberries. 
Oh yeah. That's the good stuff, right? Yes. Yeah. Okay, this is your fork. Thank you. And this is mine. Take a tiny little bite on the count of three. You gotta get everything on your fork though. I like it. Okay, okay. ready? Three. One, two, two three. <laughs> it is so good. Oh, tastes just like summer. Well, friends, I hope you enjoyed this episode. I hope you learned a little something and maybe you'll make this cake for your friends and family too. Super easy, comes together really quick. Pop it in the oven and it is beautiful. And most of all, it is homemade and made with love, right? Yes. Thanks so much for following along with us today, friends. If you don't mind, like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you next time on Sheena's Homestead. Bye. Bye.